Hello Internet, welcome to this walkthrough of installing VZ Linux 8 on Vulture. But first things first, what is VZ Linux 8? VZ Linux 8 is a free download, free to use and free to distribute Linux operating system created by Virtuoso. What is Vulture? Vulture is the infrastructure cloud. It allows you to easily deploy cloud servers, bare metal and storage worldwide. We're going to install VZ Linux 8 on Vulture's infrastructure, as well as the cockpit control panel, Docker CE, WordPress, and MySQL. Pro tip, if you head over to vzlinux.org, you can snag a $150 usage credit when you create an account on vulture.com. I have already logged into my Vulture account, and here we go. In order to create an instance, I can click on the plus sign at the top right and click on Deploy Instance. Then you choose the server type. Uh, this is going to be a cloud compute instance. Next, we need to uh, place the server. Since I am in Portland, I will place it in Seattle. This is closest to me. You have the option to install in any of the 17 locations worldwide. As a server type, I will use VZ Linux. And next, I'm going to select the server size. I'm going big here and select 160 gigs SSD, 8 gigabytes of RAM and 4 vCPUs. 4,000 gigabytes of data transfer are included in this plan. In order to securely log in, I will deploy a SSH key that allows me passwordless login. Finally, provide the server name, VZ Linux 8 demo, click on deploy, and installation will take about 40 seconds. So what are we going to do next here? We're going to create an instance um, that's currently underway. We're going to install Docker CE and Docker Compose then we will create the Docker Compose file that will create my WordPress and MySQL. Then I will install the containers, enable the cockpit administration panel, and then finally we're going to use all of these things together and create and configure the WordPress site. So let's go back to the admin panel on Vulture. Take a note of the public IP address. It is now ready to uh, SSH in. But uh, one thing that will still be going on is the cloud init is still running and is updating the system currently. So if I have a look at the cloud init uh, output log file, I can see that there's still activity. That means I cannot do additional software installations because there is a lock on the database and it would not allow me to install additional packages. So I'm going to speed things up magically here so that they work a little bit faster. And we're going to go ahead and uh, wait for these activities to finish and then add the Docker repository to the server next. So now it has finished. Here is the command to add the Docker repository. Um, and now I can install Docker. And again, I have my magic wand that I can wave and I can speed things up. Now Docker is being installed and now it's already done. Now I need to enable Docker and Cockpit so that they start automatically on a reboot, which I have done. And now I need to obtain the Docker Compose binary. This is the piece of software that will take a YAML file with definition for Docker and create the runtime so that Docker can download the, the correct containers. And um, here I have changed the permissions, so it's an ex executable file now, chmod plus x. Um, it seems to be running just fine. I'm creating a directory for my WordPress deployment. I have pasted my Docker Compose content, and now I can run Docker Compose up minus D, and it will take the input from that file, download the correct containers, and voila, there is my WordPress instance. It also has a MySQL database instance and it is being instantiated right now and it's done now. So I can go back to the control panel. Again, take note of the public IP address that I have here and here's my WordPress instance. So I go through the installation, pick English, uh, provide the uh, admin credentials as well as the WordPress site name, go through the wizard, click on the next button and here we go success now i can re-enter my login information go in provide the correct credentials and there's my wordpress website and that my friends is all so now you have wordpress running on vz linux on Vulture in under five minutes